You know, I think our offensive execution is going to be important, and we're going to have to do it in some different ways than we're accustomed to with Marcus not playing. Um, we got to make get some easy baskets in transition still, but our, our post players are going to have to do a really good job. I think they scored a total of eight points in our first game against BC. I think their numbers combined need to be in the, in the, in the 20 plus range, uh, and then we got to make some shots. You know, and I think Quinton is close to being back to, to at least close to 100%, which should help. Um, and then, you know, you got to rely on some freshmen and Travis and, and, and Todrick need to, need, need to do some good things from the perimeter as well. Is this one of these, you preach to the guys, it's a clean slate, let's let's start up a new... Yeah, I mean, you, you know, you, go, you come to Greensboro and you're playing in the ACC tournament, you shouldn't need much motivation. But at the same time, you, you, you talk to them about what a great opportunity you have. But that opportunity relies on one thing, you gotta win the first game before anything happens. And so we've really focused first two days solely on Georgia Tech, knowing that Marcus was out, and being able to get a little more comfortable with, with some different combinations out there. And then, then the preparation for Boston College. And um, you know, I, I think our guys are, are ready. We're trying to keep them fresh at this time of the year, which is probably every bit as important. Um, but our guys know what's at stake and they know how hard and the effort that they're gonna have to give to be successful. Do you change any of your thoughts on the intensity or the keeping the pressure on BC, knowing that your depth maybe is a little bit? Yeah, a, a little bit, but, but you know, he, he, there, there's, what are we going to save ourselves for? You know what I mean? As I always, you know, always say, you know, coaches would always say, they're 20 year old kids, they'll be able to rest in the summer. So we, we, we got to play all out. And, and we've done that, you know what I mean? And, and so we got we to gotta throw some different things at them. I think having a couple of days to, to uh, look at some different, you know, defensive schemes and so forth, especially with, you know, he won't win the player of the year, Olivier Hanlon, uh, but he might have the best year of anybody in the league. How, I guess maybe 